Picture this, you're knee deep in a project, deadlines looming, and you can't find that one crucial file because you've saved in some random folder and possibly not given it a sensible file name either. Sound familiar? Without a proper folder structure, chaos reigns. In this video, I'll show you how I keep my project files and folders organized and provide references to other setups so you can assemble a structure that work best for your needs. One of the fundamentals of a good workflow starts with a solid folder structure. Bad or non-existent folder structures lead to wasted time, mental strain, and decreased productivity. So I'm going to demonstrate what I use as this structure gives me peace of mind as I know where everything is in each and every project. So rather than wasting time and energy hunting down files, I can now focus on the creative side of things. Please bear in mind that this is the structure I use as a freelance animator, but I hope it'll still inspire you when making your own. Let's take a look. First, I start with my client name, followed by the project name. This can stack up for any repeat work with the client. Inside the project name folder, I have three key folders, assets, project, and render. Assets where all the assets for the project are kept, such as branding files, scripts, storyboards, graphic files, audio, anything and everything that will support the overall project goes in here. The project folder is where the main project file is located, and if you're working with a team, this can be broken down into subfolders of shots. Lastly, the render folder is where the exported drafts and final versions are kept. This is broken down into three stages, team review, client review, and delivery. Team review where files are exported for internal reviewing. For these files, I add dash tr01 as the suffix, which means team review followed by the version number. Once you're happy with the team review, then you're ready to move on to client review, which is where the files are stored for the client to see for the first time. These files will have the suffix of dash CR01, which is client review followed by the version number. Then once you've been through those iterations and all is signed off, the final files are exported and saved to the delivery folder, ready to send off. It's worth noting that I don't add finals to the file name here. It's best to focus on writing a clear and descriptive name with a date. I like the system because of how easy it is to construct and follow, especially if I have to bring in a collaborator or hand off the project entirely. The other person will be able to understand it pretty quickly. I want to recommend a website I found in my research when I was making this structure years ago, and that's Justin McClure Creative's website for their GYST initiative. There you will find the structure that they use, along with structures and resources from other artists they've interviewed. So do take a look and see if any of those formats fit more in line with your needs. I hope this has been useful to you. If my setup works for you or you made your own, leave me a comment as I'd love to know what you're using. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more creative workflow tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.